Let's talk about antibiotic resistance. When a bacteria is exposed to antibiotics, there are three possible outcomes. Either they will die, they will stagnate, or refuse to multiply each other, or they will multiply. Three main factors will predict which is more likely to happen. Antibiotic concentration, bacterial mutation, and bacterial genetic exchange. Let's talk about these one by one. Let's talk about antibiotic concentration. Generally, the more antibiotic that gets to a bacteria, the more they will die or stagnate. And less antibiotic will obviously allow them to multiply. Some bacteria live within a biofilm, which is a jelly-like substance where thousands of bacteria cells are suspended inside, like these little guys. The antibiotic has to move or diffuse through the biofilm to reach all these bacteria. Some cells that are buried deep within the biofilm are exposed to only a fraction of the antibiotic that reaches the cells on the surface. Let's discuss mutation for a while. When bacterial cells replicate, there is a small chance that the new bacterial cell may not be an exact copy of the old one. We call these errors in the copy cell a mutation. In one bacterial cell, the cell wall could be slightly different and in another, an enzyme could work as efficiently. Mutations are a key idea behind evolution and this has happened for millions of years. Bacteria on the other hand can multiply within hours, allowing for rapid mutations to occur over a very short period of time. These mutations, such as a change to the bacterial cell wall, can make it difficult for the antibiotics to enter the bacteria or stick to it, making the antibiotic less effective at hurting or killing the bacteria. There are four common mutations that bacteria undergo to become resistant to antibiotics. One, enzymes in the bacteria eat and deactivate those antibiotics. Another situation could be that antibiotics are ejected from the bacteria. Third, the bacterial cell wall prevents the antibiotics from entering. And fourth, the bacteria adopts a new way of processing energy since some antibiotics interfere with the energy collection process overall. As you can see in this. These powerful little mutant bacteria may thrive where the non-mutant bacteria die and new antibiotics must be used to kill them. Humans continue to search for new antibiotics to help the immune system and bacteria continue to have mutant members in their bodies that can potentially resist these antibiotics that we come up with. Lastly, we come to bacterial genetic exchange. A curious habit of bacteria is that they love to share information with their bees, just like two old friends and a partner. This happens even between two different bacterial species altogether. As a result, once a single bacterial species has managed to resist antibiotics in a gene, that gene can get copied and passed around to other bacteria. This is the principle behind a genetic exchange between two bacterial animals.